Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and have ourselves a drink. All right, and we are back in the lobby bar for the week of December the 18th, 2023. Brian and Michaela here with you as always. And Michaela, we have finally made it. It is the week uh, heading into Christmas time. If you're celebrating Christmas, you have one week to get everything done that you need to get done. Uh, Michaela, do you have everything done that you need to get done? Absolutely not. No, no way. Uh, not even close. Nope. I mean, I don't know anybody that does. I, now, to be fair, I have plans. I don't they trust are well people laid out that plans. are done with Christmas early, yeah. to be honest. They're sociopaths or where yeah. they started and they started like the January before or something. I don't know. Um, no, I've got I've got lots of things left to do, but I have carved out time in my day and life to get it all done. I'm I'm pretty confident. I'm at I'm at like a 95% confidence level um oh, uh, of, of where I'm gonna be at this point. Yeah. What about you? You you uh, have to travel. You have to I'm doing okay. drive yeah. for 87 hours. I have to travel. Yeah. Traveling to Ohio here, um, middle of this week. So I've got that to look forward to. Um, you know, uh, I don't want to speak on behalf of all, uh, men and husbands around the world, but by and large, yeah. we have don't it easier than the, than the, the wives and moms, right? It seems like a lot of times, sometimes it's harder, sometimes it's not, but, uh, I don't hmm. know. I don't know for sure. Um, one would say that you make it easier on yourselves because you don't do the other things. That's true. That's true. Yeah, we really yeah, uh, can kind of kind of actually <laughs> we, we can kind of pick and choose what we want to do. Yeah. We, we pick and choose what we want to do. And uh, you know what I'm picking and choosing to do, Michaela? Uh, that is mixing up an excellent drink for us here in the lobby bar today. It is a hot buttered rum. This is a classic of classic drinks. Uh, we've never made one. Michaela, uh, have you ever had one? Have you ever had a hot buttered rum? Um, I don't think so. It sounds so glorious. It sounds caramely i don't know why i think it's caramely maybe there's no caramel in this know. at all i'm super excited though because uh sounds it sounds buttery. so delicious it does it sounds buttery it sounds warm it sounds comforting it's got rum in it you just told yeah. me that i that, that that men have it easier at christmas time you're absolutely right <laughs> and i'm real mad about it so so yes this this is the right time Pour That's me right. some hot buttered rum, Brian. Let's That's do right. it. That's right. We're going to mix one of these up here real quick. And uh, normally in the lobby bar, we like to do something, you know, just a couple of ingredients that is easy to do. Um, this one is a little bit more uh, complicated because you have to make up this uh, butter uh, mixture kind of ahead of time. But that's OK. It's going to make up quite a bit here for you. Uh, and bonus, you can totally put this on your pancakes come Christmas morning and you will thank us later for that. So uh, what you're going to do, Michaela, is you're going to start out by making a uh, compound butter, what it's known as, which is basically just a butter with some other stuff in it. You can make savory ones uh, for your like fancy mm. steaks. You can make sweet ones for desserts and things. But this is what we're going to make for our hot butter drum here. So take six tablespoons of salted butter, three tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of allspice. Uh, go ahead and put that into um, hopefully like a bowl and you have like a hand mixer. You can mix that up. If not, you can uh, totally just match it. You can use like one of those like butter cutter things. If you're like a pie baker, uh, you can do that. You can use the back of like a wooden spoon, but you're basically just going to mash this up um, until all the sugar and cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice all gets mixed up into that butter. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and put that in your refrigerator and treat it just like you would any other butter. Uh, put it on your Eggo waffle in the morning and thank us later. Uh, but to make up one of these drinks, Michaela, this is going to be simple now. We did the hard part. Now it's the easy part. Uh, one and a half tablespoons of your uh, spiced butter uh, mix that we've made, two ounces of rum, and six ounces of boiling water. Put it into your cup. The water is going to make that butter melt. The rum is going to heat up, obviously, with the heat from the boiling water. It's all going to come together. It's going to taste like a cold uh, colonial New England morning. I guess, as we're uh, kicking the snow off of uh, off of our boots, getting ready to go out for the day, chop down a tree or whatever we have to do this last week of Christmas. What do you think about this? I think I'm glad that I learned about this in time for the week leading up to Christmas. Because honestly, this is now going to be like the most simplest, like this is a perfect lobby bar drink, Brian, because mm -hmm. it sounds complicated. It is not. You make the compound butter ahead of time. And then it's two ingredients with some hot water. Come on now. this is, It's basically tea. This is basically <laughs> yep. like an herbal remedy for anything that ails you at Christmas time. I love it. I'm so excited. It's amazing. Uh, and then the rum choice, right? You can pick spice rum if you want it even spicier. You can do mm -hmm, like a, mm -hmm. a real boozy rum, like a navy rum, if you wanted to uh, like not be able to feel your toes later. Um, 
I like this. I like it. It's a choose your own adventure rum adventure. Choose your own rum adventure. Exactly. Yeah. And this uh, drink goes way back. It goes to like the colonial days of New England, um, kind of around Boston, because that's where all of the rum was coming in to the United States, you know, kind of in the early 1700s there. So it has a long history. And apparently everyone had their own kind of like house recipe on how to make this. Um, and there's uh, some versions of this that use the hot water here um, or some that will use hot cider. Um, so if you wanted to make like a virgin version of this or if you wanted to make some up for some kids, you know, come Christmas morning, you could probably do that. You know, obviously omit the rum and uh, do some uh, uh, apple cider, apple juice, something like that. And uh, that's going to be delicious as well. So give that a try and let us know if you have your own favorite uh, hot buttered rum recipe out there because this was new to us, but it sounded too good to pass up uh, here this uh, coming into uh, close for the year. So give one of those a try and let us know uh, what you think about that and let us know what you think about the movies uh, that just came out this week. Uh, Wonka took the weekend, Michaela, $39 million, uh, followed by a bunch of stuff that were basically just competing for the scraps there. Hunger Games, Boy and the Heron, Godzilla Minus One, and Trolls Band together, uh, all there uh, coming in uh, second through fifth. But Wonka... Uh, looking forward to it, hearing pretty good things about it. You and I, uh, as soon as we get done recording this, we're going to go get in our uh, vehicles, drive to the movie theater, and see Wonka for ourselves. You looking forward to seeing young Timothy Chalamet playing young Willy Wonka? Yes. Yes, I am. In, in a that's word. It. That, um, that's it. Just, yeah, just yes, yes, absolutely. Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, to be fair, I I'd pretty much watch Timothy Chalamet in a beer commercial Uh Mm. like a Bud Light commercial. I do. I do. I, he's amazing. Everything he does is awesome. I mean, he, he, and he just continues to, uh, awe and surprise in a positive way. I think he, he, I'm so excited. Um, I'm also really excited to see Hugh Grant as, uh, all the Oompa Loompa. Um, I, I, I think he's not all of them. It's they're used, they're doing a different kind of way in which they, talk about the Oompa Loompa kind of community. Um, and uh, so they're not all looking the same, which I think is a good call. I like that. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't really know. I've been really trying to stay away from some of the news and previews because I want to be surprised and, and just uh, experience it as it's happening. So I'm really excited about Hugh Grant in that. Um, yeah, this is going to be great. Look, I love chocolate and the original <laughs> Willy Wonka, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory no, the original is called Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That's not the name of the book, but that is what the original was called with Gene Wilder as Willy Wonka. And that movie I still love so much. And so I'm mm -hmm. super excited. I really hope that uh, it does it does it justice. Uh, I'm hopeful, though, and I've heard really good things. So that's always exciting. And thirty nine million dollars in four days ain't bad. That ain't that bad. That's not. That is not too bad. That is not too bad. The first, yeah, Willy Wonka is uh, very much uh, beloved by pretty much everyone uh, that's ever seen it. I never really come across anyone that says that they don't really uh, like that uh, that original Gene Wilder uh, version of Willy Wonka there. Um, might be, might uh, say that it's a little creepy. I don't know if Wonka is going to be uh, as creepy uh, as that. I, I hated that uh, tunnel uh, in the first one. Oh, yeah. That one, that one spooks me. I didn't like it. Uh, we're probably going to talk about that because, spoiler, uh, Wonka is what we're going to be talking about uh, next week. Uh, so stay tuned for that to get our thoughts on that one. Remember in the uh, before times and by before times I mean like uh, earlier this year when movies were still coming out uh, full blown we were supposed to have Timothy Chalamet and Dune Part 2 and in Wonka yeah. like basically yes. at the same time that would have been like Chalamet Overload Michaela. it would have been like Barbieheimer only it would have been Chalamet and <laughs> Wonka mania, Tim Heimer, Tim Heimer, uh, would have been, would have been something, yeah. Tim you would have needed, needed some chocolate. Dunish, I don't know. If you were, if Tim you were Wonka Dunish, Arrakis or whatever that place is called. Right. So yeah, so yeah. Uh, definitely looking forward to Wonka. Let us know if you've seen that. Uh, we've got some more stuff coming out, uh, Michaela. We talked about some of the stuff last week in the Love Bar uh, on Christmas Day, though. We're going to have a busy day at the movie theater. A couple things coming out. We have Ferrari starring uh, Adam Driver about the uh, family of uh, Ferrari. I guess Enzo Ferrari. Uh, that's what. Uh, Adam Driver does now. He just plays uh, Italian business moguls, I guess. We've got The Boys in the Boats coming out, directed by George Clooney, mm. based on a true story about the uh, rowing team for the University of Washington that went on to win gold at the 1936 Berlin Olympics. That is getting a lot of good press about that one. That one sounds good. And then, of course, The Color of Purple is also coming out uh, Christmas Day. Uh, now, uh, I'm interested to see this, Michaela, because The Color of Purple was a book 
and then there was a movie based on the book, and then there was a musical based on the movie that was based on the book, and now we're getting the movie that's based on the musical that was based on the movie that was based on the book. So uh, what about these three? Any of these three strike your fancy come Christmas Day? Uh, yes. So The Color Purple, full disclosure, I think we talked about this before, and I didn't realize that it was the movie of the musical of the movie of the book. So I was like, I don't know. And it's and and it was produced by or it was something that was presented by Steven Spielberg. He was one of the producers and he directed the original. Yes, and I was uh, like, I don't. Yes, Spielberg and uh, Oprah, I think, are both yeah, uh, listed yeah. as producers on the film. Yeah. And so I was a little hesitant. I was like, man, I really hope that this is a fresher like take on it. I think I I love the original, but I'm really I don't know. I was a little hesitant. I'm actually super excited now because I've seen a couple of the previews. Mm -hmm. I think the music's going to be amazing. I uh, hadn't realized that they'd made this a musical because I've been living under a rock. I'm sorry. But um, I'm actually really excited to see this. I don't know if I'm going to make it out Christmas Day, um, uh, but I'm super excited. I want this to do so well. I want it to get all the accolades that it deserves. This is such an important story. And I think it's um, by making it a musical, it's even more accessible to people who may not be ready for the book or understand sort of the nuances that was in that was in the 1986 film. I think it was 1986. Mm. Anyway, this is going to be awesome. I believe it. I believe in it. I'm super excited about it. Um, the Boys in the Boats, I'm also really excited about. Also, don't think I will make it out on Christmas Day to see it um, because I don't think it's going to be very good for kids as far as like entertaining wise. My son will totally not understand what it's about, I don't think, um, or be interested in it. But um, George Clooney, again, he does amazing work behind the director's chair. So I'm super excited. Yeah, absolutely. So definitely looking forward to all three of these. Uh, probably not going to get out to see them on Christmas Day. I know a lot of people do that as kind of their family tradition. We'll go out and see a movie uh, on Christmas Day or like the day after Christmas, uh, you know, get the whole family together and go out and see something. So definitely some good options there for uh, people to go and check something out. And uh yeah, for sure. So that's what we have coming out. Last week we had on the podcast, uh, we had Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That was an excellent uh, conversation about uh, one of our most beloved uh, holiday films. And then we did a special bonus uh, Patreon episode. It's patreon.com slash drink the movies where we talked about the newest Hunger Game, the ballad of songbirds and snakes, and a little bit just about our uh, kind of history uh, with the Hunger Games. So that's available on Patreon. Thank you so much to our patrons over there who support the podcast. Uh, this week coming up, Michaela, uh, we're gearing up. We've got one more holiday film coming. That is The Christmas Chronicles. Uh, looking forward to that. I had never seen it until uh, just this weekend when I watched it for the podcast. Christmas Chronicles. Were you familiar with it? Are you excited to talk about it? Were you excited about Kurt Russell, Santa Claus? Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's an amazing Santa. Uh, the, he challenges some stereotypes. I really love it. Uh, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about all the things. But yes, in short, yes, it, since 2018, when it came out, it has been a staple in my house. Uh, my son loves it. Uh, and there's a sequel uh, that we will probably cover at some point because we're going to run out of Christmas movies. But anyway, I'm super excited about it because I, uh, yeah. And we'll talk about it. Maybe I don't want to spoil it. Christmas movies doesn't doesn't like Hallmark and Lifetime. Don't they put out like I mean like good Christmas movies, Christmas movies, Brian? Come on now. Uh, oh, those are <laughs> so, those something are not a little different movies. than. Big those City Girl goes and falls in love with a lumberjack. Okay, we have like thirty-seven thousand of those a year, and you know maybe maybe this girl needs it. I don't know. You but... just uh, no doubt ostracized half of our listeners because uh, Michaela's right. Those are not good Christmas movies. They are great Christmas movies. Let us know what Hallmark Christmas movie is your best. Maybe we'll talk about it on a Patreon episode or something uh, in the future. Maybe we'll do a Christmas in July where we'll just talk about uh, Lifetime Christmas movies. I don't know. That would be fun. So uh, anyway, make yourself up a hot buttered uh, rum. Uh, cocktail uh for yourself for this winter enjoy that uh go out and see a movie uh let us know what you think about uh, this week's releases and we'll talk to you next week in the lobby bar actually strike that we're not going to talk to you next week in the lobby bar really uh we are going to be having a special uh episode coming out this week michaela you look like you want to say something so i was gonna say what we should do brian is we should stop and i should be like hey brian instead of doing a lobby bar why don't we do this i've mm. got a great idea that would have been a good I idea. I think we should have, you should have put yeah. that in the notes uh, before we started. It would be a good should idea. Have. We, yeah, it just you know, came you to know me. What, 
You know what else I think is a good idea that I just thought of right now? Um, next week, our lobby bar is going to come out on Sunday, Christmas Eve, instead of Monday, uh, Christmas Day. So that way you'll be able to listen. We're going to talk about our own kind of uh, personal like histories with Christmas and kind of family traditions, stuff like that. And then we're going to put together a little bit of a playlist for uh, Christmas morning, uh, going through the soundtracks of the Christmas films we've covered here and the holiday films we've covered here on Drink the Movies. So look forward to that. That's going to come out Sunday, uh, sometime Sunday afternoon, probably. So uh, yeah, make sure you are subscribed to the podcast feed and uh, check that out. And hopefully everyone out there, if you're celebrating Christmas, hopefully you have a safe and happy uh, Christmas. And if you don't, hopefully you have a safe and happy holidays in whatever uh, way you are celebrating and spending time uh, this winter. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you next time. In the lobby bar.